Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to do more of a studio vlog again. Um, I have my little spring collection behind me that is now available. It's a very small selection of items. There's only six items for sale. So it took me quite a while to bring out this little collection because I've just been doing it whenever I can find the time. But I'm really happy with how it's turned out. And if you guys want to see more photos of it, I will put them in the description bar. I have them all on my website, um, which will be linked down below. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the items from the collection. A little disclaimer, they are all the same size, pretty much. They're eight to 10, um, which I know is not very cool these days in the fashion world, but I don't have any experience in pattern grading just yet. So if this collection goes well, and I do another one or I do another one after that then I will start to bring more sizes in but just for now in keeping the sizes the same um just because that's all I know right now and I'm going to work on like how to grade patterns up really hope you guys enjoy the video and I'm going to get on and show you the dresses and blouses <laughs> so this first one is called the iris dress and it's probably my favorite dress out of the collection um, it's kind of I adapted the pattern from one of my um, final collection ones from uni so it's got this gathered panel at the front at the bust and then it has a stand-up collar with little ruffles um, and the sleeves are super puffy um, and then at the back it's got this little section that is like it's almost like a little mini cape um, and then it goes into a long bodice at the back and then the front kind of curves up and then has this really full skirt attached to it which is kind of like midi to maxi length I'd say and the sleeves have little cuffs on them that really like make the sleeve puff up when you're wearing it. So yeah that is the iris dress. I really love this one so much I'm considering making it in another fabric for myself. Next up is the ray dress. And this one looks a lot better on because it's got sort of a crisscross thing going on at the front and also the sleeves again puff up um, when you're wearing it. It's a little mini dress in a really cute little ditzy floral pink and then the back has this nice long tie at the top in the same fabric. Sleeves are super voluminous and then they've got just a regular size sleeve attached to them so they look really cool when they're on. But yeah I really love this dress. I haven't actually ever sold any items of clothing before so I'm gonna actually be really sad to see these go if they get sold. But yeah this is my little ray dress. This next dress is called the lily dress and this was the first one I made for this collection. It's a bit of a party dress. It's not really your everyday go out to the shops dress. Um, this is the back. It's got like a a big V down the back and then the front has this gathering um, so you don't need to worry about not wearing a bra because you won't see anything but it's in this really cool glittery tulle and then it's all completely lined with polyester crepe fabric so it's not see-through at all <laughs> and then the waistband sort of cinches everything in so the silhouette is really nice when it goes in at the waist and then the skirt just completely like puts out. So the skirt is pretty long. It's like a long midi length which is like my favourite length in a dress. So nearly maxi but not quite. So yeah this dress is just a bit of fun really and I was very much enjoying running around the garden posing in it for my photo shoot. <laughs> then next up this is the ED dress. You guys would have seen me making this in my last video if you've seen that or if you are interested in seeing how I made this dress from scratch then it will be linked down below or you can just wait till the end and it will come up on the end screen as my last video. Yeah, I won't show too much of this because you guys have seen it on already but this is the back and then the front and then the skirt is really heavy and nice and full um, so a really beautiful little dress. And then the final two items are both blouses. Um, this one is very hard to show without being on the body. It's basically got huge puffy sleeves. This one is called the Octavia blouse. <laughs> I really enjoy naming the garments. I think it gives them a bit more 
character in this really gorgeous cotton shirting like fabric it's basically all gathered at the bust and then it's a lot tighter at the waist and the back is actually completely open so it's attached up here and then it comes it curves around the back and then you just tie it with a wrap around tie and it's got a nice stand up collar too and nice little cuffs that make the sleeves puff up again it's really cool with like black flared jeans or blue flared jeans or just any sort of denim or nice trousers so yeah that is the Octavia blouse and then finally we have the Juliet which is probably my favourite blouse out of the whole collection there's only two, so that's not meant to choose from. I really enjoyed making this one and I just love the way it looks. It's just such a easy piece to wear. The fabric actually used to be a tablecloth, so it's kind of recycled fabrics. And the trimmings were all like handed down from family friends. So yeah, I really love the Juliet. Um, the back has a nice little opening that sits really nicely on the back and then the waist is slightly peplum so you don't have to tuck it into garments it's just such an easy piece to just put on and you don't have to faff with it all day but yeah that's the final item in my collection so like i said before they are all available on my website which i will link down below um, i will also link my design instagram account if you guys want to follow that there's loads of pictures of the dresses um, if you just want to look at pictures of them it's also pictures on my website so yeah just a bit of fun to hopefully get you guys excited about clothing I'd love to hear from you which one is your favorite and if you have any special requests for things to be made in the future then don't hesitate to comment down below um, or send me a message on Instagram so yeah that is my little spring collection My boxes have just arrived. I was getting nervous that they weren't going to arrive and I wouldn't have anything nice to send my garments in. But they have and I'm gonna put one together to see how it works. Bought some of this brown paper um, tape as well so that the box can be completely recycled. Um, and I've got my little stickers little round stickers that I can put on the front <laughs> I'm so excited I really hope someone buys one <laughs> so that is packaging now all sorted um, for when I put them live um, and now I'm going to put some teaser images up on my Instagram so you guys can actually see what's going to be going up before it goes up <laughs> It's now the next day and today I wanted to work on a job that I've been putting off for so long. But I want to just have a little sort out of all of my fabrics. Um, see if there's any that I could donate or just see which ones I actually have because I have so many in bags that I just have forgotten about. I'm not sure if I'm going to sort calico out, probably should. So I have a big pile of calico here but I don't know if I'm going to sort. Maybe I'll do the boring stuff first and then the fun stuff is like a treat. Okay, I'm going to take all of this and put it on my desk and sort it out. And get the ironing board out because I might as well iron the pieces and fold them up nicely. Oh, and then it'll be so satisfying. This looks so much better. Um, these are all twirls that I'm probably going to put separately in another bag. Um, and this stuff is also twirling fabric, but for more like stretchy items if I ever need it. So I'm going to pop these back in this basket. Nice. 
Okay, next up I have these boxes down here and some bits are here. I just need to tidy that up a bit. But I'm gonna tackle these bags first. Um, I think I'm probably just gonna lie everything out before putting back into boxes to see where I want them all to go. Okay, so I've gone through pretty much all of the boxes and bags that had fabric in and it is now all sitting on my table which I'll show you in a sec but I also have two baskets of fabric over here which I'm going to show you guys but I don't think I'm going to get rid of stuff from there because it's all quite new fabric but I'll show you it anyway. So I keep some of my fabric in these two wicker boxes um, but they've all got new-ish fabric in and um, that's kind of organized anyway so it doesn't really matter so i have a very random pile here of stuff that was kind of overflowing from the table um this pile is vintage garments that i've wanted to edit but have never touched this is overflow from pink <laughs> and this is overflow from white so there is quite the mammoth amount of fabric here. So I've categorized it into random prints, um, pink fabric, denim, florals, greens and blues. These are like special fabrics like wool or this um, like Borg stuff. And then a random orange cord. And then behind all of these, these are all neutrals on creams and whites. And there's two stacks of those and then I have a very small pile of darks and then I have two massive pieces of old curtain fabric so I now need to decide which ones to keep I think I'm probably going to go through these after supper with mum because she's quite good at knowing if I will use something or if it's just gross <laughs> and I think it's nice so yeah I'm going to take a little break and then decide which ones to keep and how to store them again because um, yeah. Okay, I'm back. Now I'm gonna try and sort through all this stuff. I think I'm just gonna do it and then I'll show you guys what I came up with because that's kind of how I do things. <laughs> Look at this nice clear table. <laughs> Fabrics are all put away in the boxes and then under here and then under here they're in a few of those bags and in this pile is fabric I'm getting rid of um, that I can donate or throw away if they're just little tiny bits. Um, so I'm going to go through these now and just fold them up nicely. Okay, these are going to a charity shop and then I'm going to see if my mum wants these ones for her quilting. And now I'm going to hoover the floor because it is a thready mess. And I'm also going to wipe down the 
table because it's got lots of just little filaments of fabric on it now. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the video here now. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm feeling very calm inside now that my studio is all sorted fabric wise. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will link my website down below again if you guys wanna check out my little spring collection and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.